Alright guys, it is me, Jam Sankith, here on F1 2015 again for the return of the Jensen Button career mode in the McLaren Honda. We qualified 9th in this race, it's still on Legend difficulty, can we change tack? Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go onto the option, onto the Prime and then option. So, for some reason we qualified 9th and it's letting me change my tyres. I tell you what, I qualified on option, I'm sticking on option. Right, but let's get this race underway. I did ask to change the difficulty down, but I decided to keep it up the set up on, while all lights are on. And we're away here in China for the Chinese Grand Prix. We get off to a uh, well, a not bad start. We've been passed by Massa into turn one, but then again, I didn't expect to stay behind or well, stay ahead of Felipe off the start. But can I go on the inside of Nico Hulkenberg? We're on the curb, that might be considered corner cutting. But we're up to 7th position now, on the opening lap of the Grand Prix in the first few corners, so fantastic work there. Is there a gap on the inside of Ricardo? Okay, we make contact with Ricardo, but... Whoa, and Kvyat, good job I saw him, Danny, Daniel Kvyat there, as he tries to hold it around the outside in a Red Bull, but... It's, it's far less superior than the McLaren Honda, of course. I joke, of course. We're really going to be lacking in straight line speed here today. And you will see what I mean by the time we get... I'll try to defend from Hulkenberg there, but it, it's just not good enough. Okay, we made contact with Nico Hulkenberg there, I felt. So that's given us a bit of a breathing space, a bit of contact there. I thought I was clear when I came into the corner, I probably should have checked, but we've got a bit of clear air between us and Kvyat so far, so we can try and settle down into a rhythm now, because there's no way we're going to be fighting the cars up ahead as we go very deep on the brakes into the hairpin, that's not what we need, but currently we're doing alright, we might even be able to finish in the points, well not if we keep running wide like that. And Nico Rosberg leads the Grand Prix, of course, he has won the previous two Grand Prix of the season. We are yet to score some points, but there will be a link down below in the description for the last race in Malaysia. So if you want to check that out, please feel free. I'm not sure it will be a good race here today, but it's looking decent for some points so far. If we can keep it clean because we know I have one here in China before on, on previous F1 games and actually driving a Honda I've won in China so is the recording just jumping all over the place is it I hope it's not it turns out it was but now it's all caught up has it yeah I'm just oh look at that it didn't even we didn't even have a lap to defend from Felipe Massa He's already passed us now, Felipe is. This is not good for us, is it? We've got just got no grip around. We've got no grip. Which I've had to do that to try and be quicker on the straight in a straight line, but as you can see this Force India is gonna mug us. Look at that compared to us. I think Monaco might be his best bet for some points. Unless I can keep it on the There we go. Hamilton leads the Grand Prix now as he sets the fastest lap and Sergio you're not going to go around the outside there well we take the ball hard with us down into turn well down into turn one have we lost it oh great they've got DRS now as if they didn't have enough of a speed advantage but anyway yes it's the third lap of the Grand Prix it's not going to be long before we make pit stops another couple laps but yeah, Bahrain might be, I don't know, Bahrain might be a bit better, I don't know. But yeah, it's... Vettel's taken the lead. Vettel has taken the lead. What has happened to the cars up front? But it doesn't look as if we're going to be finishing in the points today, because we've already lost two positions to Massa and Kvyat. And it looks like Perez is looking dangerous behind us, so... 
And then he's got Hulk and Berger. They're going to have DRS on each other, which means they're just going to breeze past us unless I don't miss me breaking point. Right, take it steady with the car through here. Here we go, Sergio Perez is behind us. We can't defend from him, he's even passed us before we've got DRS, but now it's Nico Hulkenberg. And he's passed us even before he had DRS. Here comes Grosjean, I'm defending from Roman Grosjean. I can go up the inside of Hulkenberg here, but... I don't think I can keep it, I, I'm gonna... No, no, he's gone around the outside. I would cut back to the inside, is he gonna... But I'm going to be on the outside, but I've got DRS, but so is he. And even with DRS, we're still slow in a straight line. Well, we're quicker than we have been before, but you know. We're still quick in a straight line as we go in wheel... Oh, okay, that's corner cutting. That's classed as corner cutting, that was, so... I'm not going to get past Perez, no, Hulkenberg there, but... That's a decent run out of that corner there, but... We're down to P11, guys. After starting in the top 10, we're down to P11. As best qualifying of the year, to be fair, but... We just don't have the car to keep up with the rest of them at the minute. The McLaren Honda, it's going to be a difficult season. It is on Legend. Maybe it was my fault for putting it on Legend, but... I want the highest difficulty, because at one point we will win the race. Well, I doubt we'll win a race, but I, we will score some very decent points here today. Well, here in this championship at some point. And if that was... I messed up that turn, but if my calculation's right, even though that Grosjean's going to mug us before we get to the DRS point, and Carlos signs... Okay. Whoa. I came over to defend from him, but I didn't expect him to be right there, and he's gone off into the barrier. Well, we've pushed Groshen off there, but... Caution, yellow flags ahead, it's Massa. No, it's not, it's Valtteri Bottas. And we don't have DRS through here because of the DRS zone, we... Well, Vettel pits, but... We're on for one point at the minute, if we can still defend from... Roman Grosjean but it's not going to be enough because well because when we pit next lap they're going to be probably going a lap extra so we're going to lose some time because technically because we're a slower car we're holding them up but I tell you what I might do the undercut and pit this lap to be fair I think yeah that's what I'll do I'll pit this lap I'll fool them I'm not changing up gear because I'll end up having to change down midway through this corner. Rather than on the exit, but... Yeah, guys, I might actually decrease the difficulty until we get to Monaco, to be fair. Yeah, box this lap in your best copy because I want to get some fresh tyres on this McLaren Honda. Not that it's going to help with straight line speed as we even run wide there. But it's not unusual for me to make a mistake like that. Here comes Max Verstappen to pass Jensen Button, or to pass us now. Now Grosjean, I'm going to defend from Grosjean like... Whoa, he's tagged the back of us. Can I get on the inside of Gr Verstappen? Yes, I can. We connected to Verstappen. I forced him off there. That was... Yeah, that was a late move there. Here we go. Into the pits for the first and hopefully final time. But it's not going to be any points for us, guys, I don't think. If it is, I'll be surprised. Well, not surprised, I'll be over the moon and... Is this Bottas even passing us? Yeah. Yeah. Bottas has passed us and he's made a pit, he had a mistake in, in his pit stop as well, so... So, 2.4 seconds, yet. Yeah. I couldn't really speak for the moment there. So, 2.4 seconds for McLaren Honda is... That's probably his fastest pit stop of the year. Or is it? No, I don't think it will be, but... But, yeah, it's going to be... Maybe... 
Well, we've got Carlos Sainz behind us, but he's had a front wing change. But it won't be long before he catches up to us. That's for sure. But yeah, what's this going to be? We, will we, will we actually score points this season, guys? You know, if we don't score points today, well, anyway, the you sound in the comments if you think we will score points at, in this season. You know, because I don't know if we are going to score points, of course, because this is a live commentary. And I'm trying to push hard on these tyres here to try and not lose much to the cars ahead, but Vettel's stopping. I think Vettel's on. Vettel's slowing. We're passing a Ferrari. He's in trouble, though. Is he in trouble? What? Well, what was wrong there, Sebastian? But we've passed a Ferrari that wasn't. That seemed to have a problem, but. But hasn't seemed. But hasn't. Had any signs of a problem, so. So if you'd really think about that, guys, we've outright passed a Ferrari on pace. Oh, I'm, I'm joking, of course, but you know. Looks like Ericsson has come into pit. Who's this coming out of the pits? There's Grosjean and Hulkenberg. We've no, we've run wide. That's too deep. It's, well, not too deep. We, oh God, Grosjean's been spun out. Okay, that's corner cutting. Go, Hulkenberg. Go, go, go. Yeah, so we're not going to get in the points because of that mistake. But we're behind Hulkenberg, and he was in the points. Even though we had Verstappen there, but... We was behind Hulkenberg before we spitted, and we almost gained a little time on him. So, as long as we keep up with Hulkenberg, which I don't think we will do, even though we're on the fresh attire and... Well, not the fresher tyre, the warmer, the warmer tyre at the minute. So yeah, actually, Raikkonen's in the lead of the Grand Prix. Just ahead. Have, a go if you can. have a go if you can. Well, I can have a go, but I don't think Nico Hulkenberg will like it. Roberto Meri's hit the barrier and lost his front wing as the sparks coming out of the back of the Force India, and it looks like we might have a little the legs on the Force India a little bit now. No, I don't think we will, but good news is, guys, we might be on for position to finish in, in the points if we can keep it together. But we've got Verstappen behind us, and we know what Max Verstappen's like. Is, and again, I make a very weird line through that turn. So that's 12, so we might be on for ninth position here today. We're, well, we've just been, we've just passed Fernando Alonso. So two McLaren Hondas lying in formation. With a few laps to go in this Grand Prix. This I would love to save a bit of fuel, but Well yeah, I think that's what might be the best option to do now. Save a bit of fuel because this Yeah, because we've got well, you never know, we might be able to squeak through to the end of the Grand Prix. Well, if we don't, we've got some serious problems here in Mc at McLaren, but... That's a bit deep for me, I miss the apex, but... But I'm trying... The good news is here, is Alonso is in 10th position, which means that he will be holding up Verstappen, so we can... We can just try and focus on keeping our car on the track, which... As we've seen before, is easier said than done for me. But yeah, it looks like we might even finish in the points after all. Depending on what Alonso does. Okay, Verstappen's passed Alonso. That didn't last long, did it? Okay, we got to start braking earlier there. Because Verstappen's going to be right there with us in a few corners time. Or maybe even down this straight, he's going to be with us, yep. But as long as Alonso doesn't lose too many positions, I won't. But the tyres seem surprisingly cool. For a, you know, a fast track like this. 
I'm trying not to push because I know we've got no grip in this McLaren. But of course I need to push as hard as I bloody can to stay ahead of Verstappen. This is going to be an intense few laps of this Grand Prix. So Verstappen is still there. As I just mess up that corner, I should not be messing these corners up. Got Verstappen right there, he's going to have DRS on me. If he's not past me by then already, but... Well, of course he's going to attack his Max Verstappen. Go on, Max. This is a tactic for me to get DRS on Max Verstappen. Which I have now, because we've just passed the DRS detection point. Okay, he's got so much more grip in that Toro Rosso, but he goes out wide. Because he turned in on us a little bit, but the good news is here, Max. We've got DRS, you don't, so you're... Still very quick in a straight line, but not as quick as that for as quick as that Lotus of Roman Grosjean. I'm watching these guys behind me. Look at these Verstappen and Grosjean side by side. Okay, they've taken each other off. Verstappen and Grosjean crashed each other off today. So that's helped us out quite a lot, to be fair, because. All we've got is Maldonado, that's not going to end well, but Grosjean and Verstappen crash each other off at the final turn. That is fantastic, well, fantastic news for us with four laps to go, which means we're not going to have much defending to do, you know, in this Grand Prix. Well, for the end, to finish in, point, in the points, we'll probably get two points. To start our championship campaign off, well, our championship really started in the third race because we didn't score no points in the first two. And if everything holds together right here, we'll be on course for two points. And Alonso, that's not exceeding track limit. Okay, it was, I just seen on the recording, but, but yeah, and Alonso's on two points as it is, but he's currently in position for one more point so so that might be five that'll be five points if it stays as, as it is here today for McLaren for the, in the overall championship as well okay Alonso's coming in coming in quick here with the RS I'm just gonna save a bit of fuel but it is Fernando so our teammate but I'm just going to take it steady, save a bit of fuel, try and stay ahead of Fernando if we can. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to be able to save fuel and stay ahead of Fernando, so... Of course, Hulkenberg's three seconds a lap, but we're not bothering about Nico Hulkenberg. Because he's so far ahead of us that he's not even in the same circuit at the minute. As Maldonado's putting pressure on Fernando... With 11, it's on lap 11 now, so we, well, we're working lap 11, so four to go. Need to break early, because I don't want to mess up any of the, these corners, but. And Alonso's holding his own here today against Pastor Maldonado. Which, to be fair, Maldonado did hold himself against Alonso in 2012 at Spain, so... But except this isn't for the lead of the Grand Prix, as we slight brakes are cold. Well, I'm not surprised the brakes are cold, because I'm having to drive so slow, because there's no grip in the car. You know, there's no grip in the car, which means I'm not going to be able to push so hard, so... No wonder the brakes are cold, because I'm not having to use them. But there comes Alonso with DRS, he's passing us. Can we defend from Pastor Maldonado? Yeah, I think we can defend from Pastor... Whoa! Cra Pastor Maldonado nearly spun me out there. Alonso runs wide. Okay, he's got a penalty, has he, Maldonado? Ah. Great, we've got DRS on Alonso, but we've also got problems here with... 
Pastor Maldonado. What you, what you doing, Pastor? Okay, we hit Alonso. But that wasn't my fault. I was trying to defend from Pastor. Can I get on the inside of Fernando Alonso anywhere? No. So, roles have been reversed here at McLaren. It's up to me to defend from these guys. And I don't... Maldonado just drive. Oh, Maldonado. Pastor. We take out... An illegal overtake on Maldonado. Okay, we've got damage to the front wing now because of Pastor Maldonado. And there goes his Grand Prix. There goes his points. Oh, that's... That's not good, that. That's so disappointing. Alonso's currently hanging on to the only point for McLaren. We've just got no grip. I'm going to have to pick for tyres. Pastor Maldonado. An incident with Pastor Maldonado. Maybe it, was, it wasn't my fault. Maybe it wasn't his fault. It could have been mine, but... That's not good. I was just checking the front wing, but... We've just got no grip. That, I just cannot believe it, guys. It's just not... Set the option tyres, you might as well. We were, we were in position to score a point, and, Alon and Maldonado just fired us off. Oh, God, this season's just going from bad to worse. This time it's not... Well, not from bad to worse, we... We made improvements in the last race in Malaysia, but we was in the points this time, come on. We will catch a break guys, we, we will catch a break, I'm pretty sure we will eventually win a Grand Prix. Exit, exit now. Of course I'll exit, exit now. But what a, what a disaster this Grand Prix turned into be. And we're going to be finishing behind Will Stevens by the looks of things, guys. Which isn't a problem for me. I'd like, I'd actually, you know, happy to finish behind Will Stevens, but considering we could have scored some points here today. But Rosberg has taken the lead now, and I think my recording's messing up. I hope it doesn't, because I don't want to end up having to do this race again. Not after what happened in, you know, what's happened here today. It's been a, it's been a characteristic race. I can turn the fuel mixture up, but I'll wait till, I was going to wait till a straight, but I was already trying to change it at that point. But yeah, that's not fair. What happened with us as Maldonado? Maybe it was my fault. You know, it could have been. If it was, I'll, I'll happily admit the mistake, but. But such a bad way to lose some points. And we I can't believe we damaged the front wing. I couldn't I couldn't believe we damaged the front wing by you know, nudging Alonso. But I can't believe we damaged this front wing by going through the gravel. So damage on this game's become quite excellent. To be fair, so it's gonna be the final lap of the Grand Prix, so I'm going to put the car up to Rich Mix. We're not going to be set, setting any fastest laps, but, you know, who's going to win the Grand Prix? It's probably going to be Nico Rosberg for his third win in a row. You know, to dominate, start this season off with 100% record like he ended in 2015. Nico Rosberg does win the Grand Prix, so that's three Grand Prix in a row for Nico. That's three Grand Prix wins in a row for Nico Rosberg, and he's looking dominant in this World Championship. So it's looking as if Lewis Hamilton might not be able to retain his World Championship against Nico Rosberg this year. But then again, this is only the third race of the season. So anything can still happen. But we've got Bahrain next, the night race, which should be a very good Grand Prix. I don't know if that's if who's going to win that one. I'm hoping I can score some points in Bahrain.
like, well, Bahrain is a decent track for me, and I'm even sliding through there. But anyway, we've got a minute to finish the race. Which we will be able to do because we're not that slow in a McLaren. I know the McLaren is slow, but it's not that slow. So we're going to come around the final few turns here in China. After a Grand Prix that promised so much, you know, points-wise. That wasn't exceeding track limits anyway, but, well, it might have been. But we come across the line to set a fastest, well, our fastest lap of the Grand Prix. But we finished P17. Now, I, that's, that's disappointed me finishing in P17. We could have done so much better, but there we go. Rosberg wins the Grand Prix, Hamilton second, Raikkonen third, Ricardo in fourth, from sixth, Massa finished in fifth, Alonso managed to hold on to one single point, that must have been after the penalty with uh, Pastor Maldonado, Carlos Sainz finished 13th, Grosjean and Verstappen finished ahead of us, even though that they crashed each other off, Mary finished last a lap down, and the, here is the championship standings. Rosberg leads the way with 75 points. 21 points ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton. Alonso is on 3 points. We're still, staying in, we're still in 16th position with sadly no points. Here's the constructors. McLaren stays 7th with 3 points. Just one behind Toro Rosso. Now we're looking to beat them in the next race in, in Australia. Not Australia. In Bahrain. And Mercedes extend their lead on Williams to 72 points. So that has been this round, the Chinese Grand Prix, this round of the Jensen Button career mode. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button down below and let's hope we can get some points. And if you guys want to see it on a lower difficulty to make it a little bit easier, because literally we are slow in a straight line. So yeah, I will see you guys in Bahrain. So thank you for watching. And until next time, Goodbye.